Hi, I'm Tiffany, and I want to welcome you to another Mindful Monday. I'm going to help you learn some mindfulness and how to use that in your everyday life. So a huge thing that a lot of us deal with is anxiety. And today I want to share a meditation with you that will help us to use compassion to ease our anxiety. Most times opening our heart by practicing self-compassion and compassion for others can help us accept and give space to our anxiety. Sometimes focused and kind attention is all that we need to feel more peaceful and at ease. So to ease your anxiety by opening your heart, we're going to do a mindful exercise using compassion for others and for ourselves. This meditation is done best while you're sitting up, but if you feel like you need to lay down, that's okay. And you can close your eyes or you can leave them open if you're not comfortable doing that. So go ahead and sit tall, but relaxed in a quiet and safe place. And breathe patiently and evenly in and out through your nose. Count out three slow and perfect breaths. One long full breath in and one long full breath out. Again with a full slow breath in and a full slow breath out. One more time, breathe in and then empty with breath out. And now let your breathing relax, but find a nice balance between letting go of controlled breath altogether and still aware of and extending the length of the exhale breath a tiny bit. Take note of how you're feeling right now in your body, heart, and mind. Ask yourself, what is present in the body? Maybe you notice physical sensation, discomfort, ease. What's here? And then from an overall sense of the body, Check in with the heart space. Are there any emotions present? And then what about what's going on in the mind? Are there any stories present, positive or negative, that you may relate? Notice what is there without self-criticism, without self-judgment. In fact, notice what's here with an open heart, a loving kindness, a sense of compassion. To help us tap into that sense of compassion, we'll repeat to ourselves a few phrases. The first is, these feelings are not mine alone to carry. Secondly, there are many others who feel the same way I do. And third, I accept these feelings, thoughts, and emotions as a shared human experience. And as you say these phrases, notice again if there's any reaction in body, heart, or mind. Be kind to yourself. 
Accept how you are feeling and extend to yourself compassion. Next, bring to mind a loved one, someone who you know personally, someone who is very dear to you, and visualize them sitting across from you right here and right now. Take note of this loved one in all their complexity and recognize they too feel anxiety, difficulty, or pain. They too have bad and good days and they too have struggles which you may or may not know anything about. See if you can feel in your own body, heart, and mind what your loved one might be feeling and then intentionally send them the following phrase what my loved one is feeling is not theirs alone to carry there are many others who feel the same way they do may they accept these feelings thoughts and emotions as a shared human experience And then from your heart to theirs, send them kindness, send them acceptance, send them compassion. Now see them having received your wish, see the ease and joy that arises as they begin to understand they are not alone. Next, repeat the same exercise with an acquaintance, a challenging person, or with all the beings in the world. Sit them directly across from you and see them in their complex humanity. See their good and bad days. See their joys and their hardships. See their moments of total suffering, even those that they hide. And then, with love and kindness in your heart, send them the following phrases. What this person, these people, is or are feeling is not theirs alone to carry. There are many others who feel the same way they do. May they accept these feelings, thoughts, and emotions as a shared human experience. And then from your heart to theirs, send them kindness, send them acceptance, Send them compassion. Now see them having received your wish. See the ease and the joy that arises as they begin to understand they are not alone. And recall too that you are not alone, that you are able to recognize joy and pain equally in others because you have had the experience of joy and pain yourself. Now check in with how you are feeling in body, heart, and mind. As you fill up with the recognition that you've sent loving kindness to so many others, perhaps you're better able to connect with the sensation of having received loving kindness yourself. That which we give, we get back in return. So continue to practice kindness, acceptance, and compassion every moment of every day. When you are ready, 
slowly open your eyes and come back into awareness of the space around you. Always remembering that you are not alone. Always remembering that we all have a shared connectedness in our humanity. I hope that this meditation on compassion helps you to ease your anxiety as you go through your daily lives. Remember, you can always come back to this anytime that you feel like you need it. I hope that you have a great week. Namaste.